Sometimes you just gotta take it in and, and quit shooting and ingrain this light in your mind. So when you get home and you take that card out of your camera, you put it in your computer, you can remember what the light was like and you can remember the way you felt when you took that photograph. You know, it's just, it's just amazing. Come on, Giggs, let's go. Ready to take a photograph? Come on, Giggs, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Up. Good job. Stay. All right. My name is Wayne Suggs. Uh, I'm from Las Cruces, New Mexico. I've lived here my whole life. Being raised here by an incredible family. We were always outside. My mom and dad, they uh, always on the weekends, we would, we would go to picnics in the desert or we'd camp in the mountains. So I feel most at home um, in the middle of the desert or you know in the mountains, uh, hanging out in a mountain stream with a fly rod in my hand. It's a big part of my life. Well, I've shot this before, but it looks completely different from last time I shot it. I wouldn't mind shooting it again. What do you think? I think it looks great. Do it. All right, let's do it. Let's get this composition set up. Oh, I love the line of the three yuccas. Threes are usually better than twos and or ones. And then we have the tree on the right and the tree on the left framing the mountain. And if we can get some really nice clouds coming in later, when the light gets good, this will be a nice shot. What, what ended up happening is our hard drive began to fill with all these different photographs. And my wife Kiki says, we need to start sharing these images uh, with, with people. They're just collecting on our computer and, and people need to see them. And she said, I'm gonna start a Facebook page for you so friends and family can see your images and it just snowballed from there, so. <laughs> Well, we've waited here about an hour and it, it's kind of nice because during that time I set up a different composition. Um, I put a different lens on. I'm using a 24 millimeter tilt shift lens and I have it shifted down ever so slightly uh, just to get everything in focus from these foreground rocks here all the way to the mountain. Um, I think it's going to work out really nicely. Uh, the light hopefully Back in here, you can see to the west of us where the sun's gonna set, there's some rain and it's light rain. And that's just perfect because if that sun comes down in between the heavy cloud and shines through the light rain, it's just gonna light up the mountains and put this magical light on it. Landscape photography is just, 
it's magical to me being out here in this beautiful place um, with my wife and uh, you know waiting on the light and yeah the solitude it's just stunning it just really beautiful place. Uh, Mitch Tilson, a photographer up in Albuquerque, he wanted me to enter my work uh, in New Mexico Magazine for their annual contest. And I kind of was hesitant about it, and I went ahead and did it. So I entered my work, and I ended up winning the contest. So in 2015, I was New Mexico Magazine Photographer of the Year. Part of my winnings was I won a workshop, and I'm thumbing through the different workshops that they were offering. And one of the workshops was with Mark Mooch and it was New Mexico night skies. And I loved, you know, the night skies in New Mexico. I was already doing astrophotography work and it was a no-brainer, that's what I had to do. I would get to meet Mark, I would get to learn from him, um, I would get to take this workshop and so I did. I come back home and a few weeks later I get an email from Mark and he wants to know if I ever wanted to, he, he would love for me at some point to go to work for him to lead a few workshops. So here I am now, you know, a few years later and actually working for Mark, um, one of the photographers that I idolized. love being out here. Um, we're in the Sierra de las Uvas mountains. It's part of the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks National Monument. Taking a photograph of this incredible petroglyph. Uh, it's Apache petroglyph. Um, it's a little more rare in these parts. Most of the petroglyphs found in the area are Hornada Mogollon. And uh, if you follow this canyon further to the, to the south, southwest, uh, they're just full of petroglyphs. Um, this whole place is, is full of amazing antiquities that, in my opinion, really need to be preserved. A lot of people come out to a place like this and, and it's about getting as many photographs as you can. I'm different. I don't care if I come back with just one photograph. If it's a really nice photograph and it's well composed, that's my, that's my goal. It just you know, I, there's so much beauty around here, but what happens is if you're constantly moving around trying to find great things to shoot and don't really take your time to find that nice uh, composition, then you kind of come back usually with just kind of mediocre compositions. And right now the light is just, wow, it's incredible. The sky is just so beautiful. Be out here all by yourself in the solitude. You can really think and just, you know the, the beauty that surrounds you. It's just an amazing place. Well it looks like the light's done uh, for the afternoon and I'm gonna take this camera off. Didn't want to touch it till I made absolutely sure. I'm gonna remove this camera and I'm gonna put my camera that I use for my night images on. So the Milky Way at about 945 is going to be lined up about right here and we'll probably have some clouds. The forecast say it's going to clear up a little bit but we'll probably have some clouds in the sky and uh, but that'll be okay. Make the night sky more interesting. So I'm just gonna walk up here and uh, hang out with Giggsy. We'll eat a snack, and we're gonna have to wait a couple hours on huh, gigs. You comfortable? All right. Can't think of a better place to wait. You know, for me, what the future holds, I just hope it's more of the same. I have a very good life. I'm a fortunate man. I, I love music. I love to fly fish. Uh, I love Southwestern architecture. My wife and I, we still build three homes a year. 
You know, I absolutely love that. And, and I don't want to choose between building homes or photography. I don't want to quit either one. So it, it's, it, it's, it's amazing that I, I can do all this. Um, and, you know, I'm a, I couldn't do it without my wife. She's an amazing person. And she has a hand in everything that I do, and we do it together. Uh, my name may be on the photography, but it's both of us. If you walk out in the middle of the desert, and you look at the desert floor, and the desert flora that's out there, it just, you know, you have all these different colors of greens, greens to blues, uh, to yellows to golds, and all those colors have to be separated, just as they are in nature. And you need to remember that in your mind when you took the photograph. And she's taught me that. I mean, um, she's an amazing person. And I thank you, Kiki, for that. Part of landscape photography is just, you know, hiking out with a headlamp. You have to wait till sunset and it gets dark and so you don't have a choice you're hiking out in this rough terrain with uh with the headlight on so anyway it's uh still look at this it's magical twinkling of the city lights off in the distance sky still red it's been a beautiful day